Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, bunch of codes uh, fully confined uh, in this uh, pink uh, circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram. We have got uh, codes uh, A, B, C, D, and uh, E, F, and they intersect uh, each other at this point uh, P and uh, this point Q as well. And as a result, our this segment uh, C, P is uh, six uh, units. Whereas uh, this segment uh, PD is uh, 10 and likewise uh, this segment uh, EQ is 5 units and this uh, segment uh, QF uh, is uh, 12 uh, units and moreover uh, this uh, segment uh, PQ is uh, 7 uh, units and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the length uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating uh, this uh, length uh, AB. And now we can see that this code AB consists of uh, three segments uh, AP, PQ, and uh, QB. And we know that uh, PQ segment uh, is uh, 7 units. Let's assume that this uh, AP segment uh, is uh, X uh, units and this uh, QB segment uh, is uh, Y units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of uh, X and Y. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, codes. Uh, a, B and uh, C, D and they intersect each other at this point uh, P. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, codes uh, theorem. According to this theorem, uh, if two codes uh, intersect uh, in a circle, then the product uh, of the measures of the segments of the codes are equal as you can see in this uh, given diagram. Here we can see we got two codes uh, A, C and uh, B, D and they intersect each other. And as a result, uh, we get these segments uh, A, B, C, and uh, D such that uh, A times B equal to C times D. Now let's revert our attention back to our this uh, problem. We can see our these codes uh, A, B, and C, D intersect each other at this uh, point P. Then our this uh, segment uh, C, P is uh, 6. This segment uh, PD is uh, 10. This segment uh, AP is uh, X. And finally, this uh, whole uh, segment uh, PB is going to be 7 uh, plus Y. So therefore, I can write uh, Y plus uh, 7. And now let's label uh, this segment as lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c and uh, lowercase uh, d. Now we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, given formula. So it's going to be x uh, times uh, y plus uh, 7 equal to 6 uh, times uh, 10. Let's go ahead and distribute uh, this uh, x. So therefore we can write uh, x uh, times y plus uh, 7 times x equals to 60. I'm going to label this as our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these codes A, B, and E, F this time. And they are intersecting each other at this point Q. And we are going to apply this intersecting code theorem on these codes as well. And this time our segments uh, EQ is uh, 5, this segment uh, QF uh, is uh, 12, this segment uh, QB is uh, Y, and finally this uh, whole uh, segment uh, AQ is going to be X uh, plus 7. So therefore I can write uh, X uh, plus uh, 7. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, segment uh, lowercase a lowercase b, lowercase c, and uh, lowercase d. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, y times uh, x uh, plus uh, 7 is going to be equal to 5 
times uh, 12 on the right hand side let's uh, distribute this y so therefore we are going to have x times y plus uh, 7 times y equal to 60 let me label uh, this uh, equation as our equation uh, number 2 and now we are ended up with these uh, two equations this first equation and uh, second uh, equation let's go ahead and compare these uh, two equations we can see the right uh, hand sides are identical so therefore we can equate the left hand sides uh, as well so therefore we can write uh, x uh, times y plus uh, 7 times uh, x uh, equals to x uh, times y plus uh, 7 times uh, y and now we can see this xy and this xy they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with uh, 7x uh, equal to 7 times y let's divide both sides by 7 so therefore our x uh, value turns out to be equal to y and now in this uh, next step I am going to substitute uh, this uh, y value equals to x in this uh, equation 1 so therefore the left hand side x times x is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 7 x equals to 60 let's move 60 on the left hand side so therefore we are ended up with uh, x square plus uh, 7 x minus uh, 60 equal to zero and now we can see we got this uh, quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve it by grouping uh, and uh, factoring and now let's focus on this uh, middle term 7 uh, x we can tweak this one we can write uh, 12 uh, x uh, minus uh, 5 uh, x as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see x is in common between first two terms uh, and uh, negative 5 is in common uh, between last uh, two terms so therefore I can write uh, x uh, times uh, x uh, plus uh, 12 and here I'm going to factor out negative 5 and in the parentheses we got uh, x uh, plus uh, 12 equal to 0 and now we can see x plus 12 and x plus 12 they are in common so therefore the left hand side is could be written as uh, x minus 5 times uh, x uh, plus 12 equal to 0 and now since we got these two factors equal to 0 I can uh, split them so I can write x minus 5 uh, equal to 0 and the other one uh, x uh, plus uh, 12 equal to 0 for this uh, first equation our x value is going to be positive uh, 5 and for this uh, next equation our x value is going to be negative 12 and now we can see x represents the side length so therefore x cannot be a negative uh, number so therefore we are going to reject this uh, x equal to negative 12 and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive 5 so thus our x value turns out to be 5 units and we know our x value equals to y so therefore uh, we'll conclude that y equals to 5 uh, as uh, well so thus our uh, this uh, x value turns out to be 5 units and likewise our this uh, y value is uh, 5 as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, code a b is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, three individual lengths uh, a p which is 5 uh, p q which is uh, 7 and finally q b which is uh, 5 as you can see in this uh, equation so I'm going to fill in the blanks in this equation so a b length is going to be 5 plus 7 plus 5 and if we add everything on the right hand side that is going to give us 17 units so thus our code a b length turns out to be 17 units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.